The most expensive 2023 Texas bourbon is about to come out, but is it worth the $250 that they're charging for it? If you want to find out, then stick around. So the story is, this is Garrison Brothers Cowboy Bourbon 2023 release. Okay. And we love Garrison Brothers uh, for a couple of reasons. One, we or you? Well, when I say, I meant me and Lindsay. Got you. Yeah. Lindsay and I love Garrison Brothers. Even though the bourbon isn't always for my palate for the price that they charge for it. Okay. I really respect the brand. We went there to film one time and they sent me off with the master distiller and Lindsay was with this group and I came back and she was dressed for an event that we were going to. So okay. she like had like this real cute outfit on, but everybody else was going to be working at the distillery all day. So they were all dressed like super cash. Right. And I come back and Lindsay's working the bottling line and nice. she's like dipping the bottle. So I, I walk in. Why not? And all I could think was one of these things is not yeah, like the other, you funny. know? And so, but they were so kind to her that she loves them. And when yeah. people talk negatively about them, she's like, I'll fight you. Oh, dang. Um, but uh, what we're reviewing today is their annual special release. It's called Cowboy Bourbon. Okay. It is six years old this year. And it is a whopping 140.9 proof. Ooh, hazmat. Okay. Hazmat. Jeez. So for those of you playing at home, hazmat is above 140 proof. And it violates uh, hazmat regulations to put it on an airplane because it's just too flammable. Wow. Um, and the SRP for this is $250. Jeez. So I'm not typically a Garrison Brothers fan. Okay. Now, I've not had the Cowboy Bourbon. Okay. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold my reservations. Uh, but I have been given on several occasions, like birthdays and Christmas, a bottle of just their standard, what is it, 90 proof or something, 95 proof, something like that. Just the regular Garrison Brothers bourbon. Yeah. I, I don't know what their standard pr uh, proof point is. But, but it was yeah. like 75 bucks a bottle or something like that, yeah. I think. Don't quote me on that. And, and again, it's okay. Um, not a big fan. Yeah. I And it's for me, it's a little expensive for what it is. Okay. Um, but in their defense, the 11 out of the first 12 years of operation, they lost money. Just don't tell to, totally. I don't want to fight Lindsay. They were right. They were not. Um, at, they were not getting rich with their high price. Okay. Their whiskey costs more to make. They use uh, smaller barrels, but the barrels are not, you know, a, an equal percentage cheaper. So they have to buy more barrels to make the whiskey. They use more expensive grains. Their production process is less efficient, mm. and so that's just how much it costs. Um, this particular re release does come in a 750 ml, and there were 9,600 bottles made. Total. Okay, so not massive. Not massive. It's about the size of one of the Pappy Van Winkle line. Okay. So mo most of the Pappy Van Winkle line is around that nine or 10,000 bottles per year, something like that. Um, so let's smell it up. So uh, right off the bat, it does not smell 140. No, it, it nose is way below it, its proof. It's, it, in fact, the nose is fantastic. It reminds me, and maybe I'm crazy here, but you had traded me a while back a Purple Top Willet, nine-year, mm -hmm. um, Texas Sun, I believe, is, yes. is the bottle. And this reminds me of that. Now, I, I'd have to try them side by side. I think that was like 136 proof, but... It's got a, it's got a, uh, it's almost like a honey tea. Yeah, there's honey, there's tea, there's a, um, there's a grape note in this. See, I don't get the grape. Um, I don't get any fruit. You don't get any fruit? But, you know. Dig in there. I think there's some fruit in there. The thing about this whiskey is that, is that there's so, there's so many layers of flavors that you can mm. say almost anything. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, so it reminds me of... A Ricola. Ricola. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. A throat lozenger. But with maybe a little bit more tea. I get a lot of tea on this. Yeah. A lot <sighs> going on in there. <laughs> a lot going on. All right. There's the 140. Yeah. Mm. You, can, you can feel the, the, the higher proof on the palate. Super, it's not a bad thing. Super long finish. Um, you know me. I'm a proof junkie. I'm getting, I'm getting chocolate. Mm. I'm getting some coffee notes. Yeah, it's not, but it's not a dark chocolate. Yeah, it's, not for me at least. It's a little more milk chocolatey yeah. than most dark chocolate flavors. It's almost that I like get a from... latte. Yeah. Yeah, like one of those uh, Starbucks 
when I used to be fat, which is really never, but <laughs> I used to have uh, one of those like mocha mocha lattes every day with uh, with the with the heavy on the cream on top. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I get a lot of that. There's a sweetness on the on the like mid to end palate for me. Yeah. There there's so many like wood sugar notes in this mm. that it, you know there's there's brown sugar. There's yeah. there's a caramelized sugar flavor. There's toffee. There's a smokiness. Okay. There's like a little score bar, maybe. Yeah, yeah, a uh, lot, lot going on in here. So, how would you rate this bad boy on a scale of one to one hundred? So again, usually not a Garrison fan. I will tell you, uh, this is releasing. Well, I think uh, it's, it's already dropped. It's already dropped, but uh, I haven't seen it. It hadn't hit Dallas yet. Okay. It's 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 in the warehouse in Austin, and they don't know exactly when it's going to hit. Dallas. I will say that I will be searching for this. Okay. So. All right, that is that was going to be the next question, but on a hundred point scale, um, I'm over ninety. I'd say like ninety one. Ninety one. Okay. And, and for me, that's that's pretty freaking high. Yeah, that's super high for him. Yeah. Uh, uh, baseline uh, Wild Turkey One Hundred One, which is the daily. You love it. I love Wild Turkey One Hundred One. Uh, that's like a seventy three. Seventy three. Yeah. Okay. Which, so which is a great score. Great. That's a that is a good score on his. But for me, I used Wild Turkey. Tell my dad that all the time when I came home. Right. Like, yeah. So like C's yeah, and D's get degrees. It's good enough. I yeah. graduated. And so uh, for me, Wild Turkey would probably be like an eighty two. Like low mm, 80s for that's me. That's high for me. That's high for him. Um, and I'd put this probably at about an 86. Oh, wow. Okay. So I, I think I'd, I'd, I like it more than Wild Turkey. Uh, so then the next question is, at $250, are you a buy or a pass? I would buy it. Okay. Um, you know, it, I really enjoy it. Um, you know, but again, I'm a proof junkie. And, anytime, and this is probably going to be a reason why... I feel like it's probably going to sell mm -hmm. is the fact that it's over 140. Yeah, as a hazmat, it's interesting. I mean, I think that that's going to cause a lot of people to kind of have some intrigue about this. You don't see 140 proof bourbon that often. I mean, no. it's been, even even GTS, man, it's been below 140. It got down been, to 116 when you years yeah. since they've produced one. So I'd say for me, I'm probably a pass at 250. Okay. Unless, you know, I had just closed a bunch of real estate deals and. I wanted something interesting to give to people, um, but it, that's a good bit of money for a bottle. Uh, but I mean, it is. I, it, I, I would say if you like pot still bourbons, this is of the highest quality. All right. Well, if you liked this recording, we'd suggest that you should like it on the page, subscribe, yeah. ring the bell so you get notified whenever we post new content. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. That will help the algorithm, and maybe share it with a friend. Yeah. Uh, now it's time for our shameless real estate plug. So you and I, you gonna drink the rest of that? Well, I we gotta have something for cheers. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so Aaron and I, we both uh, fund all of these shenanigans and activities with our real estate business. He's a loan officer. Mm -hmm. I'm a real estate agent. Um, so if you're looking for real estate services in the Dallas or Houston area, I promise that if you hire me, your closing gift will be an epic bottle of whiskey. I'm talking on the order of BTAC, Van Winkle sometimes. We give all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, I've seen it. And where do you operate at that people should contact you? If Obviously, they Texas. Yeah. Uh, Florida, Oklahoma, Colorado. Okay, so if you are in Florida, Oklahoma, Colorado, or Texas, you need to call Aaron for your mortgage loans. And that's all we have for you today. So I hope this is enjoyable for you. And as always, we love you, and we'll see you next time on Bourbon Real Talk. Cheers. and was flush with cash. <coughs> We're gonna have to Sometimes she snorts the rest. Uh, anyways. You're not supposed to. You good? Yeah. Okay, are you sure? Take a sip. <coughs> Clear that out. <laughs> <laughs>